At Two Point Hospital, over 52% of our patients believe they leave healthier than when they arrived. Our precisely calibrated equipment is operated by compassionate healthcare practitioners, many of whom have even been to medical school or watched ER. If you suffer from turtle head, let us ease your worries and noggin gently out of your body. Mmm. Just infection is no laughing matter. Put your trust and oversized shoes in our capable hands. We're building a brighter, safer future, and hardly anything will stand in our way. You deserve the best. So join us at Two Point Hospital. We're open for new staff, new patients, and a new you. Can I go play golf yet? I'm teeing off at three. Hey guys, welcome back to another video with Monkey88. As you saw from the intro there, we are playing Two Point Hospital today. Uh, first of all, I want to apologise for the long delay in getting a video out. Um, I've been quite busy recently. And I wanted to do a, um, a certain type of video and I haven't managed to do it. So, I've been playing some games and uh, this is one of them that came out a few days ago. Um, I just wanted to sort of do a video on it and uh, show you my views of it. For those that haven't played it and those who want to play it, this might be a video that might help you out to decide what you're going to do. So, yeah, I don't want to drop along. I uh, actually tried to record this once already and uh, I, obviously lack of recording videos has made me really uh, rusty on this, so I did a bit of a rubbish job. But anyway, let's get straight into it. Uh, as you can see, you can choose different hospitals here, which are actually locked until you start playing on the first one. You've got friends that have been playing it already, but let's just jump on. Now, for those of you who don't know this game at all, it's uh, basically a sim um, hospital game. If you have ever played or know of the 1997 game theme hospital, it's pretty much the same game. It's made by some of the creators that made that game, so obviously there is much of the, uh, the same sort of jest and same sort of feel to the game. And the idea is you've got this blank space, you've got this blank hospital right here and you've got these different things like items, rooms and hire and you need to basically create your own hospital, maybe your own rooms, your staff rooms, your GP office, etc. First of all, we need to do a reception. So we get a desk and you can, this, sorry, you can rotate this by pressing Z and X. Stick it opposite their entrance, I think, somewhere like that. Uh, we need to get an assistant to run the uh, reception, so let's just pick anyone. See here you've got like hiring, you can basically hire doctors, nurses, assistants, and janitors. So we want an assistant here now, and you've got different prices, obviously how much their wage is going to be, depending on their skill level and their, uh, their sort of like rating level, I guess, if you like. So I'm going to go for the medium, because it's probably not as bad as getting someone that's pretty terrible. It does tell you a little bit about what they're like, so this person is unmotivated and hygienic. Uh, it works 9 to 5 as a way to make a living. So not a great person, but, you know, that's a class clown, so, hey. Better than that person, at least. Obviously, this person likes to argue, he's terribly dull, hungry, so it's a pretty angry person, even though he's, you know, quite experienced, so I don't want that guy. Let's just get this person here. Drop on there, their uh, workstation. And uh, there we go. Next, we can do a GP's office. So you go in your rooms, and you'll unlock more and more rooms. We want a GP's office. And the idea with this is you got a, a, a box and a grid, and you can basically draw out a, uh, a room. So let's do something like that. Uh, maybe let's have a bit of a thing like that. Uh, I want to try and move this a little bit so central, just because I'm a bit of an LCD freak. Uh, I'm wondering if I can do it this close to the reception desk or not. No, it doesn't like that door. So, I'm going to move it one back. About there. Uh, and what we can do is take your desk down. Now, the desk, obviously, the one that's further away from the desk itself and the monitor's facing the other way, that's your patient, that's your doctor. So, you want someone to come in through this door and sit on that desk there, sit on that chair there. Stick some windows in. I just have to put windows all the way around. 
because it also adds more prestige to the room as well which basically is like the um uh, it's a better looking room it's bigger it's nicer and and it's got nicer things in it and it keeps your uh, doctors happy so let's just do that let's take a bin in there let's put a plant near the door and extinguish it in case someone sets something on fire uh and i think that's pretty about it it's probably a little bit too big really for what i wanted it to be but you know you can actually edit them by subtract subtracting from the room or adding to the room so if you subtract subtract from the room should i say you could do something like that uh or you can obviously add to the room by just put, doing like that this is ricky hawthorne bringing talk music and news to the whole of two point county and if you're listening anyway. to us from the newly opened hospital just turn up that volume because nothing drowns out the sound of sick people like the voice of a world-class dj Coming up next, 42 hours of music from the background band. Enjoy! So you have DJs and you have receptionists that just randomly say things to you throughout the music and things. So they'll just say random uh, random announcements and things that are somewhere quite funny in jest. So you just got to listen out for them sometimes and, and you got to enjoy it. It's great fun. So now it wants to see all these different things with the camera. So it's going to zoom in, pitch it and rotate it. And... Uh, it's just trying to show you the, the uh, tools, the uh, controls, I guess, for now. So this person is going to go to the GP office after they go to the receptionist, who looks like she's asleep on the desk. Wake up. Um, and if you go to items, you can see more things that you can use to actually get for the uh, reception area and the different corridors that you'll make. So let's put some benches down here. I want to kind of make a bit of a um, bit of a seating area oops and you can pick things up and move them if you make a mistake like that cool and you get little notes down here basically what things you need to do so basically the person that we just came to our hospital has uh, an illness called grout, which apparently is transmitted in bathrooms and modern medication is effective unlike earlier times. So basically we've got two options, we can send the patient home or we can get them to wait for us to build a pharmacy. Let's make them wait. We've got our rooms and there's your pharmacy. So we can build a pharmacy somewhere. Let's stick it over here. Uh, let's put it like that. Put a door in. Stick your stuff down. And then you can build a few windows there. And then you can stick more things in. You don't have to put this stuff in, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'll just make it look a bit better. Uh, the more stuff you put in there, obviously your prestige level goes up as well. So you put another car cabinet in there, for example. The bar goes up. But anyway, let's do that. And let's hire a nurse for that room. Let's stick them in there. This person can now go in there and uh, get healed. So anyway, let's continue putting some stuff down. Let's put some uh, drinks machines in there. And uh, a snack machine somewhere. Might have to stick this somewhere else. Maybe over here. We can put a leaflet stand next to the reception desk like that. We put a fire extinguisher down here. And maybe a bin next to the uh, drinks machine. So there you go. It's just all about placing things in different ways. We can put some plants. So with the plants, as you can see, the... Uh, the uh, green areas basically means that there's no plants or pretty things in that area. So the more you put down, it starts to do uh, more green. So we can put stuff down here. There. And the more green you make it, just the more nice it is for people to be in your hospital. So I just have to stick stuff where I can. Um, we need to hire a janitor, 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 I can't speak now guys, sorry, a janitor, um, who will go around and stuff like, they'll water the plants and uh, maintain the equipment, so you see they've got a bit of a health bar there, he'll go and fix that if it gets below 50%. And, I don't know if you saw it before, but we uh, managed to um, cure our first patient. Plus this is like the first level in this game, so it's just basically showing you this, the basics and what you need to do. It's unlocking rooms a little bit at a time to get you used to it. Um, 
But like I say, if you uh, I can build a staff room now. If you haven't played the uh, 1997 version of this game, then I definitely suggest looking at it. At uh, well, maybe not looking at that one, but even looking at this one and starting on this one is, is good enough. It's uh, it's exactly the same game uh, in its own way, um, and it's definitely worth a little look. So let's build a little bit of a staff room here. Getting some drink and a snack. And let's put some bins in here. So you can see I'm rotating things in here. So you can do that with Z and X. And just rotate things around and uh, put it where you want it to put it. When you're done, push your little tick. And then uh, there we are, staff room. So we need to build a toilet now. So toilet. Let's stick it in this corner over here. Uh, might go down a level there actually. Uh, and then we'll use cubicles. Stick them on the back wall. Uh, we need a door obviously. Uh, and put things like a sink in, a couple of sinks, a hand dryer. Uh, let's put a bin in there, extinguisher and a plant. Done. Now as you build these like build uh, these rooms you obviously can start getting corridors. It's quite a big corridor there to be fair, but once you get you know a bit better at it you can start making some nice little corridors and things. And once you do that, you go into your items you can start putting things down. So we can put like another drinks machine down for example just outside here. Or we can uh Let's put some benches down actually. So a couple of benches there. So a couple outside the GP's office in case it gets busy. And uh, yeah, you get objectives. So up here you can see we need to cure another patient and then we can unlock the ward. So once this patient gets uh, diagnosed and sent to the right place, we'll have a ward. Okay, sorry about that guys, so yeah, um, oh actually we need to wait here, there's different messages down in the bottom, so we've got a new illness called Clamp, and uh, so can we actually build a diet, no, yeah we can, so I must have missed that, so yeah, let's get that person to wait then, get a general diagnosis room, and we'll stick it in there. Uh, put your things down, your windows, and your stuff like that. So, yeah, like I say, if you like sim games and you like things like that, and it feels like theme park, then definitely a game that you'll definitely enjoy, I think. Um, I definitely recommend it. it it's, it's very, very good. Um, once you get into it, once you get more things unlocked, it becomes more fun. So at the moment, obviously, I'm struggling a little bit just to get little bits here and there and not getting much done because I'm not being able to unlock much, unfortunately. But, uh, you know, as you, as you keep going, it gets more and more interesting and more and more challenging as well. Um, so, yeah, so let's... Uh, Basically as well, what you can do is you can pause and unpause the game. As you see down here, you've got like your pause, you get your play, and you can actually fast forward it as well. But now we've finally healed that second person. Oh, we need to hire uh, a nurse for the um, general diagnosis as well, so let's do that. I'm a little bit behind here. This person's actually going to try and go there, but I don't want him to do that. I want you to go back into the... Let's build a ward. Um, I like to make wards quite big so you want more beds in there. So I'm going to stick it over here. Again, you can use your other next, spin stuff around, put it where you want it to go. Uh, stick some beds in here. So I'm going to try and put these as spaced out as I can. Um, but at the same time, I want to try and fit as many as I can in here as well. That'll do. Uh, you can get things like lockers. 
Uh, a filing cabinet for the nurse. I stick a bin in there somewhere. A fire extinguisher just in case. I need to do things like plants, so let's just make it look a bit prettier. All the way across there. Uh, and you can unlock things with kudosh. It's basically uh, this this currency down here. As you do objectives, you'll unlock this stuff, and you basically unlock things for each room. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of different items there to unlock as well. Uh, if you get a point where you can't do it and it's not ready, and it says fix invalid items, if there's like a red, like here, something's not right. So let's just have a look at that. Now what that is, is I'm blocking the uh, the bed with these plants. You push them back a little bit. Oops. And that. Then it's fine. Let's get another nurse. For the uh, ward. Uh, now you've got more objectives, so you want to hire another doctor and uh, you need to earn so much money. And you want to build GP's office apparently, so let's do that on the back of this one. Um, can we get away with it just like that? And then put the three on the front? Yeah, perfect. I don't know if that's smaller. Yeah, it is. But I don't want it to be. If I make this too big, then I think it might look a bit weird on the end, because it's going to um, make that a really small corridor. That's not too bad, actually. We could do it like that. We could do it like that. So then we just do it like that. Put a door in the back. Uh, put some windows in. I just like to think things symmetrical in this game. I like to make it look as pretty as I can by having it all the same. I think it makes it look a little bit better. Take your desk and opposite that one. Put a filing cabinet in. Let's do the opposite that one too. Uh, bin. Stick the bin anywhere really. It doesn't really matter. Fire extinguisher. And a plant. Let's put one up there. Put one down there. And then let's stick another window in there. So I, think, oh, I can't put one in there. the door. Oh, I don't know why though. I mean, it's the same. Oh, so the door's tripped there. Um, the, the reception says some weird thing. So yeah, so that's that. Finish. Let's hire another doctor. Go for the middle one again, or bottom, whichever. Stick them in there. Now these offices, these offices are quite big, really. They're too big for what they are. But again, I just like to make things symmetrical. And then we'll also pick up this desk and move it along a little bit. Opposite each other now, you see. Um, right, so. We're just basically waiting to do things. Now we have to cure three patients with lightheadedness. Now for lightheadedness, we need to make a deluxe clinic. So let's click on that. And let's build this clinic. So let's put it down here. Stick your things in again. And then... The extras you don't have to put in, like I say, but you can do. Uh, I just like to do it. Put some windows in. And then finish. Let's hire another doctor. So it needs a doctor, I believe. Oh, someone's... This doctor really needs to start going back to the right place. And now, like I said before, we can jump back onto the items list and stick some more items down what a smashing day for a bit of gardening i mean who doesn't like gardening? this guy is waiting here to get into this office so let's put some stuff down there hands in a bit of manure oh, i can almost smell it now no nope, wait this sewage pipes burst again <laughs> no my mistake anyway keep those fingers green I say the DJs and things just come out with some random stuff, but you know, it's all good fun. Um, but yeah, you can just basically design this how you want it to be. So stick some desks opposite there, some benches, should I say? Um, click on your plants and it shows you that green stuff again, so you can see that it's not pretty in consideration in some areas. So let's just put them down. Uh, we could stick some benches down the side of the ward, I suppose. Uh, some more plants down here, maybe. Put one in this corner if I can put one somewhere. No, I can't, but that's fine. Uh, 
But yeah, it's just all about designing your own hospital, designing your own things in your own place. What I might actually do at the end of this video, guys, I might do a little snippet from the 1997 version of the game um, just to show you the differences and where it, where it originated from, where the idea originated from. Uh, obviously, it's not the same uh, makers or the same game as such, but yeah, it's not too far off. I'm not really liking this design that I've done here, guys. I don't like this space I've done in the middle, and this it just looks a bit awkward, but you know, you design it how you want, and if you want to change it all, you can. You just have to, it's a little bit of work, but you can just grab that, edit it, and you can move this where you wanted to. Obviously, if you've got things around the room like I have, these little dollar signs come up, that means you're going to sell them if you try and put it down. So it's a little bit of work, but you can put it how you want it and change it. But we cure one more uh, patient, and then uh, with lightheadedness, and then we're going to get a one star hospital. So this is lightheadedness, he's also got a light bulb for a head. Let's see this guy action, let's see what it actually does when we uh, cure this guy. So we're unscrewing his head, as you do. Bit of advanced technology there, we're actually generating a new head. There it is. Perfect. And there is our letter about having a one-star hospital. Get your three stars, you, you basically finish the level, you can go to the next one. Um, but once you do the one-star, you unlock the next hospital, there it is. And you might get an item as well that you can use, it's just a poster, but yeah. Press continue. And you get new objectives to get two stars. And uh, off you go. But that's probably where I'm going to leave it now, now guys. I think that's probably uh, good enough. Um, your staff also ask for promotions every so often when you have to give them wages, salary rises. Obviously, you max it out, they'll be happy, but we don't want to do that. I like to just go a little bit above what they're currently getting and promote him. Just because I don't want them to, uh, you know, I don't. I, we can't give them too much money. We need to get profit, so. But yeah. Um, I definitely suggest this guys, it's on Steam, um, it's pretty cheap as well I think, it's only £20 which is nothing for a new game really, um, but yeah I'm also sorry that I haven't been around for a long time, I'm going to try and be a little bit more around a bit more often, but we'll see how that goes. Um, I am going to get a, uh, I'll try and do a, a stream on, on Twitch on uh, the 7th of September. Um, and whatever I do on there, I'll also make into YouTube video as well and upload it for you. But that that's just uh, going to be on a new game that's coming out around that date. So keep posted for that, and uh, I'll I'll be around hopefully uh, around about 7 p.m. on Twitch, something like that. But I'll announce it. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to do a little bit of a snippet from the original game just so you can see the difference uh, if you haven't seen it before. And for those that have, a little bit of a nostalgia run. Why not? I um, hope you enjoyed the video guys, sorry I haven't been around much and I will be back soon and more often where I can. Just watching, until next time, enjoy the next snippet.